It's a city where anything can happen. So what could go wrong or right as I hit up LA unscripted from the Fairmont Century Plaza just in time for the LA Marathon. <laughs> Thousands of athletes from all around the world are carb loading and getting ready to run the new LA Marathon course starting at Dodger Stadium and finishing right here in Century City. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devitt and clearly I am ready to run as LAU is counting down to our city's 36th race presented by ASICS and wait, 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 wait who is that? What? It's Doug Cold, Dana. Maybe you didn't recognize me, but I'm channeling the most inspirational runner of all time. Forrest Gump. Run, Forrest, run. Just don't pull a hammy. All right, well, jogging ahead. Did you know the LA Marathon started in 1986 after the success of the 1984 Summer Olympics? And today, it's now one of the largest marathons in the country. That's right. About 25,000 participants sign up, thousands of volunteers too, plus hundreds of thousands of spectators come out for the 26 plus mile two day event. Oh my God, he's gonna be my Achilles heel today. People love the LA Marathon almost as much as this iconic SoCal hotel. Since 1966, countless travelers have run right through these doors and just recently it went through an amazing renovation, just like the marathon. This hotel used to be known as the White House of the West, but it was the place where the first state dinner was held outside of the United States to commemorate the Apollo 11 crew members. We also had President Reagan here in house when he was recovering. We've also hosted multiple artists in residence such as Aretha Franklin, Elton John, and many more including Sonny and Cher who actually performed nightly in one of our uh, entertainment rooms in the past. <laughs> The hotel was closed in 2015 uh, to undergo a, a complete renovation uh, of the entire property. They have moved things such as the pool onto the rooftop. We now have a 14,000 square foot uh, spa and fitness center. We are doing a runner's remedy. So if you're pre-training and you need something that do warming or cooling gels and cryotherapy to help with the circulation and to help prep. And then there's also post versions in terms of recovery and using hypervolts and percussion therapies. Um, but we always say, you know, recovery is really for everyone. And so even without an LA Marathon, we want to be able to deliver that, that same recovery experience all the time. So the facility itself is completely brand new. It's a complete different set of um, spaces for relaxation, for recovery, for mind wellness, um, a full different gamut of offerings. So we partnered with Forbes Travel and we have also gotten certification from them as being a safe uh, hotel to stay at. With that comes 400 of our newly appointed guest rooms as well as we do have a brand new three meal a day restaurant Lumiere. It's an unbelievable, uh, beautiful restaurant modeled after basically every restaurant I fell in love with traveling to Paris. Ramon is the chef. It's all the classics, but, uh, but done with his little uh, interesting takes on them. Uh, everything from a French onion soup with a special 1655 Gruyere to you know, his steak frites to chicken liver mousse, which is literally the best I've ever had. The hotel now is um, positioned as a modern contemporary luxury property. Uh, that is going to be a five-star, five-diamond hotel here in the Beverly Hills Century City Market. This remodel deserves a gold medal for sure. It does, and how cool that the new LA Marathon finish line is right out there on the Avenue of the Stars. And like the new Century Plaza, the LA Marathon also has an incredible past. It was March 9th of 1986, 10,787 people lined up on Figaro and Exposition outside the LA Coliseum for the inaugural City of Los Angeles Marathon, which at the time was the largest first time marathon in history. And off we went. Started right at Figaro and Exposition, uh, and it finished on the grounds of the Coliseum. And then in uh, 2010, they started the iconic Stadium to the Sea course where they started in Dodger Stadium because Frank McCourt owned the marathon, also at the time owned the Dodgers. So they started on the, in the parking lot and they ran through West Hollywood and Beverly Hills and Santa Monica and finished on uh, Ocean Avenue uh, in Santa Monica. Here. But we've had five different courses and we're having another new course again this year as well. 
this will be my first. LA Marathon has been a dream of mine since I was a kid. You know, I've always something aspirationally wanted to do it, and luckily I have a great cause that really inspired me to get out there. And um, sadly, we lost my grandma this year to a uh, long battle with dementia, and the court does fantastic both advocacy and research into neurolo neurological diseases, including dementia. So, so I think she'd be really happy for me to, to take something this ambitious on, but also touch that it's it's running in, in memory of her. The marathon's always sort of showed up on the calendar just in time to bring us back together and show us our common humanity. Anybody can run. It's out there for everybody. And fast, slow, tall, short, Wide, narrow, old, doesn't make a difference. No, everyone can do it. And from the warm up all the way to the wall, KTLA will be there covering every exciting step. And we are just finding our stride coming up yummy eats along the race route, plus, get in training to run debt free. We're to get coached by a winning financial expert. LA Unscripted is celebrating the return of the LA Marathon. Get set, go! The 36th Los Angeles Marathon is back and LA Unscripted is celebrating the starting gun and all the excitement that whisks in with it. All laced up and ready to go, I am Dana Devon and look who raced over to the Fairmont Century Plaza. Welcome, Forrest Gump. <laughs> well, you know, Dana, as an entertainment reporter, the 1994 Oscar-winning film is still considered to be one of the greatest films of all time. But can you imagine Forrest's fictional right. run? Mm -hmm. I mean, crisscrossing the country. You know what that would take? What? I've clocked it. Three years, okay. two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. That's a classic movie, and it's just like the Century Plaza Hotel, another classic an LA landmark that also stands the test of time and is the spot to be for the finish line. So this year the marathon has uh, changed where it's going to end and it's going to actually end here on Avenue of the Stars. So we do actually have rooms available for the weekend of the marathon. Uh, we do, for our marathoners, we actually do have a wellness package that they're able to book, which will help in the recovery process. Well, it makes sense that the finish line is right here. Why? Because it's the Avenue of the Stars, Dana. And all these runners are stars. That makes a lot of sense. And you know those stars you're talking about, those runners. Most of them on average train 12 to 20 weeks for a marathon. Incredible. Oh man, I'm exhausted just hearing you talk. I know. But you know, having a workout partner it really helps tow the line too. Recently, Jasmine Simpkins dared me to sweat it out with her. Dana, I dare you to come get your sweat on with the best in the business, the big guns, Jeanette Jenkins. Let's go, girl! Dana, listen, you told me I was going to be eating a lot on the show, and yeah. I've been eating so much, my mom even was like, uh, Stop. it's time to lose some LBs. I need this LB, you ready? Go! Yeah! I just ate ice cream <laughs> on the way over here. So I've been in fitness for 30 years. I do a style that I call ultimate cross training, and it uses all the components of fitness. Let's get started <laughs> okay. with my number one favorite exercise, high knees. Oh, <laughs> God. We have some flexibility, mobility work, that we have cardio work to strengthen our hearts and to burn calories. It's completely holistic. So mind, body, spirit, and all the methods of training. And the fun factor. Now we got some teamwork going. I moved to LA uh, 23 years ago, started my business, The Hollywood Trainer, and I've been training celebrities as well as athletes and everyday people. This is fun, this. right? Oh, now. She, don't, don't even get. She's gonna make us do it fast. Is there a, like a timeout or like a water break or Eat anything water like that? Water. We got you some Pedialyte Sport. I've had so many of my friends who are pro athletes and Olympic athletes that have actually called it their secret sauce. They've been using Pedialyte for years. It's an advanced hydration drink. The little pulses into the booty. Regretting this, and I do. You do. It is, yeah. One of the best things that you can do if you already are amazing at working out is to invite a friend or a family member. Building a community and having accountability 100% will help you be more disciplined and help you show up more because, of course, you don't want to let that other person down. Go, LAU! God save the 
Queen, did you know that's a marathon finish line tradition that spectators scream? You know, it started back in 1908 at the London Olympics. It was all to help the racers find the finish line that was right in front of the royal family's viewing box. Interesting, our Olivia de Bertoli would know that. She is a runner and has some tips too. God save Olivia. My name is Jocelyn Rivas and I am running to break the Guinness World Record to become the youngest person and the youngest woman to run 100 marathons and also the world record to become the youngest Latina to run 100 marathons. I want to run a marathon, so that's the first step, you wanting to run it. I would recommend for you to get like a six month training plan just to make sure you're doing it properly, enough time for your body to get enough miles and get used to running. Because the first month, to all the beginners, they're probably not gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be hard and essentially you're not gonna love it. But as you keep running and running, you get more used to it, you start liking it. For the beginners, I would say, you know, just make sure to always stretch, that's the biggest thing. Tell me about the warm ups and the stretches that you do. So some of the stretches I do are very typical. It's like you're just going up and down. Okay. Up and down. Touching your knee, got yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> That's just one to warm up. <laughs> this doesn't seem very stretch-like. Okay. Another one I do where it's actually my favorite one, it's when you put your right foot over the other uh -huh. and you just go down. Okay. This whole quest, you could say, it started in 2017, September. Um, it was actually where I was just like a very low point in my life. And I was like, I want to do something that's, you know, big, something that's going to be meaningful. Uh, I am a dreamer. I'm a DACA recipient. So it started with that essentially because uh, they were trying to deport me, you could say. So essentially it was more like I want to prove to people I'm here to do good. Um, and so that's how the whole 100 marathon started. I want to inspire people to go out there and do the things I'm doing to know that, you know, they could do it too. Like, there's no limit. It changed more like to inspire my community, especially LA. The most challenging part has been traveling because I do work a regular job just like everyone else Monday through Friday and so as soon as I'm off Friday I take a flight to LAX and then I'm back by Sunday night or Monday morning you could say I never have a day off and so it's kind of hard but it's just like I gotta keep going on it makes me feel very confident it makes me feel so strong it makes me feel like I'm, I'm on top of the world and if your idea of a smooth ride is actually in a car, now Rich on Tech takes a test drive from our sponsors from Mercedes-Benz. The Mercedes S-Class is the kind of car valets keep up front. It's shown off, compared, and plenty imagined being behind the wheel. Well, this is really cool. Let's see what this can do. Sponsored by Mercedes-Benz, I got to drive the S-Class for a few days. It starts at just over $100,000 and feels worth every penny. You don't just sit in this seat, it surrounds you in comfort. It feels like one big hug. The interior design is classic yet bold with big digital screens and ambient lights that don't just look good, they also alert you. The car is quiet, luxurious, and even has a signature scent that wafts out of an ionizer in the glove compartment. Smells like success. The car doesn't drive itself, but multiple assistance features keep you in lane, adapt to speed limits, and even parallel park. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Do you love me? I like you as much as late night drives. What's the meaning of life? It worries me that you're asking that to a computer. My biggest gripe, there's no rotary volume knob. In fact, Mercedes ditched many physical buttons. What's left is touch sensitive and sliders. They take some getting used to. The infotainment system is well designed, responsive, and I actually like the GPS. Cameras are everywhere, including a built-in dash cam that can record your rides, plus a camera to monitor for drowsiness. Massaging seats keep you energized on long drives. Overall, the Mercedes S-Class feels like it loves you back with thoughtful features at every turn, making a driver feel fully in command of the road and life.
The home stretch is coming up. Talk about fast food. We have the California cooking menu served up on the miles, plus get in tip top financial shape when LA Inscripted from the Fairmont Century Plaza returns faster than a speeding bullet or a Forrest Gump. <laughs>
right now we go to work every single day. We make money, right? And one third of that money or 34 and a half percent of this dollar bill goes to pay finance charges to banks. Think about that. Another third of that dollar goes to pay Uncle Sam all the taxes that we pay. I'm not just talking about in income tax. I'm talking about entertainment tax, for example, okay? Every single tax. And we are left with only one, less than one third of a dollar, by the way. Less than one third of a dollar. And if we give this one third of a dollar to Wall Street, like if you have a 401k or an IRA, and the market goes down, you're going to lose it all. MyMoneyMyWay.com. You go to that website, you've got a 30 minute video, just a crash course on really what we're talking about, where your money goes in today's economy and how to protect yourself for any economy with our two strategies. The first 10 viewers that complete the form will get a free copy of my best selling book, Olivia. It's called Smart Money Moves absolutely at no cost. Again, go to MyMoneyMyWay.com and watch the super easy video. Dana and Doug, back to you. I'm running out of fuel. Yeah, me too. Are we in the home stretch yet? Oh yeah, speaking of stretching. All right, so let's go refuel for us. We have to say thank you to the Fairmont Century Plaza for letting us go off script and celebrate the LA Marathon. Where will we be next? In that bar. Bye. I'll reach you there. Let's go. <laughs>